because we can't fucking them, say that anymore. They don't call them TikToks no more. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking talked out of your mind right now? <laughs> oh, dude, this one was watch. I don't know if this quote is verbatim, but Adam Sandler uh, said, "Hitting kids is just funny." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to start this podcast now because we're, we're going to feel it out how it uh, we're going to feel it out from now on. But we just got a huge, huge. Oh, fuck. Hold on. A huge <laughs> upgrade. So uh, I just got the Roadcaster uh, podcast thing, the studio. It's a mixer. You uh, yeah, We can now fire. do up to four guests. We can do phone calls. Two phone calls. Two phone calls. You Two. can you can go in through Bluetooth or hardwire or or hardwire. Uh, we now have sound effects. Sound effects. We now have the 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 make us look legit. Yeah, yeah. We have fucking headphones yeah, now, so headphones. we're now an official podcasting. We're now an official podcast. Thirty four episodes in. We're now an official. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what you were looking for. No, I was looking for the sound effect. We're now on official podcast. What what sound effect were you looking for? Oh uh, no no I have to no no I have a whole thing. I'm gonna do the intro and then choo 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 and then brown 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 brown. I got I got a whole I I have a I thought this all out, dude. I went into the because I always said like two or three episodes before I was like I need to put that what you just did on a sound effect. I need to put that. I need to put that. And I finally did. I got it from episode thirty. Two, thirty-three, thirty-two, or no, thirty-two. Uh, you probably is, could have got them from ten episodes ago. You probably could have picked and choose. I did. The, Wh- whichever. One I could have gone better. down any any episode. Is that the correct term? Picked and choose. Picked and choose. Picked and choosed. Picked picked and and choosed. choosed. I've, I've I have no idea. But before we get way too ahead of ourselves, and uh, to quell the excitement, I'm gonna hit this real quick, and uh, this is gonna be. The new intro, so we're just gonna talk over this in the beginning, and then we're gonna shut this off and do the whole like welcome to the blah blah blah. So this will be like a like a like an introduction, like walking out to the front stage from uh, behind the scenes. So we're just like chatting or whatever. And we need to do a workshop soon because I'm having some ideas rolling. See that that's that's what I need. We need uh post all your ideas in the broke notes. Okay. So uh, is is the broke notes limited to just us? Yeah, it's just me and you. Okay. Yeah, and then the broke weave notes. I don't even know if you can see that. It's uh, just me and Wes. Yeah, I don't know if I can see that. Either. Yeah, I, I, I just found out that there's a new uh, uh, or that there's an option to where, like I can't, I, you can't see some of the channels. I thought. Yeah. That it's it just weird. shows like a lock on it, but there's some channels that you don't even see because of the yeah. permissions. It's weird. I have you set up as everything but an admin, like mm-hmm. just the administrator, so you can't kick me off my own server. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, so welcome, welcome to the podcast. Welcome to episode thirty-four. I'm very, I'm very glad to uh to uh, uh welcome y'all to this brand new beginning. The brand new beginning of the Broke Knock Life podcast. God damn it, dude. Every time. I'm just going to keep replaying this. And then... Oh, oh wait. No, that's... that's not right. I'm still having fun. That's not the right one. Oh my god! Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, so uh, so just a, just a quick warning. Some of the I gotta I gotta uh, uh, what do you call it? I gotta level out all of these sound effects. Yeah. But I'm gonna test out some of this stuff. Some of it's gonna be loud, so uh, bear with us. Give me like give me like two or three episodes, and I'll I'll be uh, I'll yeah, be we'll a, yeah, and I'll have it down packed. So we're now like like I said, the new mixer allows us four guests. Uh, inline phone call as well as well as Bluetooth and uh, live volume control uh, sound effects, so I can do an intro and then roll it into the me talking or whatever, and then outro and then a whole bunch of sound effects. And it controls the main audio, right? Yeah, yeah like the for the audio. for the TikToks and stuff, I can just easily just uh, put that down. But I just gotta, yes. I gotta, I gotta focus in 
and not get fucking distracted because we're going to be talking. I'm going to be like, why the fuck is that not playing? And I'm why, like, oh, wait. Why the fuck can't we hear it? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like on mute. But this fixes the biggest problem that we as a podcast has, has ever overcome. And that is the the dreadful FL hour limit. Yep. The dude. Dreadful fuck up freeze. Yeah, dude. Smash. All you have to do with this thing is put it in. It's, it's meant to be like a, uh, you know, Steve-O's podcast? Yeah. Where he does all of it like kind of outside, yeah. like mobile. This yeah. is like your mobile type shit. Oh, shit. So this is, uh, if you go on their website, this it's all. be a main. Oh, this is. Like, it's going to turn into a main like thing. It's a main soundboard, dude. I am finally officially a host. I, I I'm I'm filling in the shoes of the new fucking Stern baby. This is my this is my soundboard, and uh, we're gonna need you to get a little bit more raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna bring in some Beetle juices. Spell red. <laughs> red. L S T E R. <laughs> well said, Beetlejuice. Well said. Thank you, Beats. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was we, thinking... We're all smarter. Yeah, I was thinking we uh, for the Gramps Basement, it needs to be a whole bunch of Beetlejuice stuff. To, oh, yeah. Because I, I haven't figured out specific uh, intros for specific segments. But uh, for that, for now, I'm just going to put Beetlejuice stuff for <laughs> the, Gramps, the beginning of Gramps Basement. The, uh, the intro for Gramps Basement needs to be... Giant cock. <laughs> <laughs> What do, you, what do you got there, Beetle? And then it's just like all quiet. A giant cock. <laughs> Let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. Spell red. Red. L-S-T-E-R. The thing is revolutionary. We have just leveled up over 9,000. Dude, it, and I need that sound effect. Over 9,000. It's over 9,000. I can use that instead. But, uh... Revolutionary times call for revolutionary measures, and these revolutionary measures is uh is uh is is the Grant's basement. Oh, that's the that's the earrings for Zorro that I used for episode eleven. They they if you pinch it, it like opens it up. There's a little thing that you pinch. Oh, yeah, and then it clips on to like your ear earlobe. I'm not gonna do it, but I had the urge to clip it on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been on my ear. So uh, imagine a whole bunch of just skin flakes, snorting up skin flakes. That's all right. That's uh, that's the best high. We never use skin flake high. Skin flakes, dude. And the thing that I'm I'm curious about is, um, every time I have the uh, uh the XLR plugged into my focus right for our FL, um, it, it it it's like a it's like a uh. It's like a background noise I have to take out every single time on this specific mic. Your mic is good every single time, but there's like a low hum on this. So I'm curious if this if there was something I just was overlooking, but hopefully this uh, clears everything up because in theory, I don't hear anything you would from it. you would be hearing it right. if it was recording it. Right. And I don't hear anything. And the reason why I couldn't Then again, it could be the fans. Behind. No, it wasn't it wasn't the fans. No, all I can hear is the fans right now. That's the only home I can hear. <laughs> if I raised your gain up, you would. You would just hear. Yeah, all I'd hear is that. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of loud fans, mm. is your new Xbox loud? No, no, it's not at all. Like really, really quiet. But it does get really hot on the top, even like after hours of gameplay. Yeah, like I was playing uh Cold War whenever it first came out for, I think like six to seven hours. For like a week, I was doing six, seven hours, like a day, and it it would get really fucking hot, but it would never get loud. Wouldn't get laggy or anything. Mm -mm. That's impressive. I wonder what uh, is there is there been a lot of no I was hubbub because no. a lot because remember the whole smoking thing. I remember there was that was proven to be fake. Really, people were, it was literally vape. Okay, good. It was like vape smoke. Idiot. Yeah, and then the people believe it because people believe it whatever the fuck they want. Well, look, man. Everything you see, everything you don't have to do that. See, is on the internet. Well, actually, yes, you kind of do because of the. I would just put like an hour, because I, ele ele eleven eleven minutes eleven eleven. Um, because that's not gonna run out. Is that even fucking recording? It's blanking in the back. Okay. Blank my. 
Um, yeah. So the only thing we would have to worry about is that fucking battery, which I need to weigh. Want me to do fifty minutes. I mean, shit. You can you can probably do an hour. I mean, it really is. The most that would happen is we would lose like ten minutes of footage because that that's gone on. Because I remember that was on many times, like, like not turning after yeah. the podcast. Yeah, like many times I just would forget to turn it off, and then we would hear like a beep beep beep, like as you were about to leave. Yeah, and that was usually thirty minutes. 30 after minutes to an hour. Yeah. So and that's the GoPro battery. The replacement batteries only go like an hour. Right. So I got to make sure that GoPro battery is charged up, and that's why I got. Yeah, just to give y'all a little BTS of what happens after the podcast. We yeah. stay here and we jerk each other off. <laughs> yeah, besides that, no, no, that's it. It gets really oily. Like, <laughs> well, you have to really be. It can't oily. be dry. You can't dry heave. No, go we, in, we do for like the bit. first 10 minutes because that really gets us steamy. Hot and steamy. I'm just really fucking glad I don't have to worry about FL right now. Hell yeah. Are you that's all I'm... Do? I don't give a fuck right now. I don't give a I fuck. Know, I know that gave you more anxiety to me, but... Dude, it, it's just, I, I talked to Wesley about it the, the last podcast. We asked Anime Gensho what their worst, like, podcasting things. Experience That's was. Yeah. And then me and Wesley, that because that happened before you came on. Because uh, we were, dude, we were doing, like, two-hour episodes. We oh, would shit. have to pause and then do it again. And we, we, I didn't pinpoint the problem that it was FL until you came on. And then, like, it. It happened it, like it did rapidly it during the podcast. Yeah, it did it during the podcast like two or three times too. God, that was weird. I just, I instantly heard everything just go quiet. Did you notice that? Whenever you lift it up, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we need to we need to get into the Gramps the Gramps basement. And I don't have that that many uh that much Beetlejuice stuff. Yet. I can't yet. But the thing is about this is uh uh um this beat pad right here. There's two layouts. So like I set uh, if you go to sounds on that Podcaster Pro, see all of that is all organized. If you go right there, you can oh. set up a whole new thing. And then look, that changes this. Or whenever it's transferred, I think you have to transfer it. Yeah, I think you have to sync it or whatever. But uh, oh, so I can have one for Broke Knock Life and then one for Weaving, Weaving with Wes. Wes. That's wild. Yeah. This so actually, crazy. actually leave leave that up so I can somewhat look at it and memorize it because I hit that. I, I'm gonna I have Baba to memorize Bui. this shit. Baba Booey. They, you know that you know the uh, uh the history behind that. Isn't that a uh a Stern? Howard thing? Stern. It's his producer he uh he mispronounced some he mispronounced his like childhood like cartoon hero and then stern just made fun of him until Forever. like it's it's like being used now like you hear it now and it started in like the what i think the early 90s late 80s holy shit yeah so that's like that's like a meme that's like i would one of the first memes oh, it's like shit. and baba boo is just like you're stupid. Like, you're, you're being stupid. <laughs> you're an Baba idiot. Bowie. And it's just like some fucking dumb. I'm going to start using that at work. When someone's doing something stupid, I'm just going to look at them and say, Baba Bowie. Exactly. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> yeah. Good one. <laughs> um, I'm Fred. I'm Fred in the flesh, bitch. <laughs> See, I just, I have to, usually, usually I'd, ideally, I would have it right here. And then I would have a separate camera angle hitting me a different spot to where I can talk and then like look right here so i don't have to side eye and look like that so we'll get there we'll get there we'll get there that'll be level ten thousand. level ten thousand. god damn it i could have used that drop like three separate times yeah it's over nine thousand (laughs) 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 oh man i'm gonna have too much fun with this i just have to remember the air horn is really fucking loud and uh uh i don't think my intro is loud but uh does this work nope well, look at what you can do, though. I think you can change. The, okay, okay. Before before we get all, we got to go to Grant's Grant's basement. Yeah, I was actually trying to press the button. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to. Uh, I don't. I don't know when did we. I don't know when we started the Grant's basement. I gotta get a number on that. But uh, this is episode thirty four. I think Grant's Grant's basement was before I made the feature. 
Yeah, you're right. And that was seven. I think you came on at six. I think so. Not seven, right? Because I remember the, it was at the tornadoes. Shit. No, no, no. It was the Bahama Mama, Sigs and Bahama Mama or some shit so. like that. Yeah, it was because we told stories about senior trip. Ah, I yeah. I don't, from. I don't remember that at all. I don't remember anything we but talked also, about. also, Bahama Mama is a subconscious thing that you just did. What, because of the drink that yep. I made? And you know what? There's a sign out there that I got from Costa Rica that says Bahama Mama that I got from my mom. It's just like this black chick with big old titties. <laughs> it's just like a, it's a little hand-painted it, yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it to my mom. I don't know why, but I was like... I was like, I got, dude, my- yeah, I gave it to her, and then like three years later, uh, uh, I, I like recall, I was like, you remember whenever I got this for you? She's like, you got that for me? I was, she's like, I thought you were joking. I was like, no, <laughs> I was like, no, I actually gave it to you. <laughs> here's here's a pair of tits, mom. Yeah, it's just like a skinny black chick with big old titties. <laughs> hey, there ain't nothing wrong Bahama with that. Mama, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong. That's with why that. I bought it. Yep. Mm. Hey, God, dude. hey, I've heard. Oh, and okay, before you say that, you can put markers on here. So, like, if you wanted to remember something like a uh, specific, you press a marker, and then it, uh, uh, whenever you go to podcast transfer, it shows like a list. Like, uh, we recorded an hour and 30 minutes, and then it'll say two markers, and then you can open that and see where in the audio the two markers are. You'll be like, oh, that's whenever I discuss this, I wanted to remember that. Shit. So that's another thing you can do touch screen on there. That's crazy. I don't know what you do. Oh, and for. I can change the layout right here. Oh, Dude, this shit. is this is basically a fucking roadcaster promotion. Uh, yeah. At this too. point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just really fucking hyped that we don't have to worry about the FL thing anymore. But before Sponsor, we rant and rave, meet about it every every Dude, episode. I mean, well, I, I, the past like 10 episodes we're like, okay, so I hope FL fucking uh yeah. gives us the grace of the good audio. Uh, ain't gotta worry about your bitch ass no more, FL. Ain't gotta worry about shit. But the only thing we do have to worry about is copyright songs. So hopefully Gramps send send it us uh, no sent us CP, some shit. And I don't mean the bad CP. <laughs> no more good I mean, copy. I was about to say no more CR. good CP, but no uh, no more hey, man, copyright. You... <laughs> Shut up with your cheese pizza. Spell red. <laughs> L-S-T-E-R. And he was going against Gary the retard, too. <laughs> uh, Gary the R word. Retard. Yeah. That's what uh, your mom's house says now. The R word? Yeah. Because we can't fucking them, say that anymore. They don't call them TikToks no more. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking talked out of your mind right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But I do. Okay, okay. We. Uh, I'm going to keep ranting about that mixer. Okay, so. Entering Gramps' basement in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, shit. That shit said beep, beep. Yeah. You got it. Oh, shit. Sorry, I don't know if that was. I, I, don't, I think we're good on that, but I want to. You want me to go back? No. Fuck you. All right. Hard. All right. Okay. Deal. <laughs> so hard so. Fuck you. Hard. No, dude, look. Pause it. Pause it real quick. Sold. Sold me. No cool. caption. That's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, nothing. He has nothing to say besides that. Forty six thousand <laughs> likes. <laughs> oh god. Let's I'm, let's I'm let's look at the sold. comments. I'm fucking sold on that. Are you? Are Jeffrey you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sounded like a villager from Minecraft. Oh, that that makes so much sense. No, you are absolutely not, sir. <laughs> okay, then what? If Tuna was a person, <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like this whole joke thing now. What the like fuck? if they see someone greasy online, like if potato chip grease was a person. I wonder if he responded to this. I bet he did. <laughs> nah, you you would see creator after it. If Dijon <laughs> Mustard was a person. <laughs> if <Lightfoot>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just I'm beaten down. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to recline disrespectfully. <laughs> <laughs> if Cucumber Juice was a person. What the fuck? 
Does this my affect anything? Me to this, this semester. Not I'm wondering I, why this knob right here is. I think you got a little bit louder. I, I did. I think so. Did I? No. Did I? No. Did I? No. I was full. I don't know what that is. Me either. I did sound louder whenever I did that, but I, I still sound the same doing that. Yeah. That's I think weird. I was full of shit. It's whenever it's because this is a, a I don't know. Wh- I think it. I think that's picking the mic up better. Yeah, it is. A it's picking better. this mic up way better than before. That's always been good because I think that's made to be like, this is made to like uh like you have to set it up to specifically what you want to do, and once you get that, it's gonna be fucking amazing. But that's like more all around, and it sounds phenomenal. So this is the BYM. Be, be your meat. <laughs> 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 you saw the wheels churning? Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw the eyebrows raising me. Got it. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, remember to talk on the side of the microphone. Remember, twist it to where it's like you're talking well, like into here. Well, do you hear me better here? Like that, yeah. Or do you hear me better here? It's going to be way better on the side. Ooh. Like you can kind of like, or here. you can. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. way better. Does uh, does that sound better to you? A little bit, I think. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot what I was... It's spelling red. Oh, Christ. Another shit I gotta deal with after this. I'm gonna tell her to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let's... Nope. 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 Okay, cheat. Okay, go, go back. Go back. To this one? No, no, no. The next one, because this speech is hilarious. The valid Victorian speech. Go up, up. In the words of Sir Isaac Newton, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Georgia Tech is proud of its many traditions, but the one I find most exciting is our tradition of excellence. Our mission as students is not in the footsteps of the astronauts, Nobel Prize laureates, and president who graduated before us, but to exceed their footsteps. Dude, how? Crush the shoulders of the giants upon whom we stand. We here are all such innovative people. So I am telling you, <laughs> if you want to change the world, you're at Georgia Tech. You can do that. If you want to build the Iron Man suit, you're at Georgia Tech. You can do that. If you want to play theme music during your concert, What a fucking speech. Holy shit. Dude, how hyped would you be in that crowd? I'd be like, Georgia Tech. Oh, holy shit. I think I would have stood up and said, Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> And president who graduated before us, but Although it would be funny if someone step. stood up and just Crush completely interrupted him. <laughs> hey, shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Cut off the music. So I am telling you. I love the little head nod as it. Dun, dun. You're at Georgia Tech. You can do that. You yeah, they the ate. Iron Man suit, you're at Georgia Tech. You can do that. Ate my if nuts. My satin. <laughs> Oddly enough, my house kind of smells like that. All right, we got to go to the next one. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Clark? Yeah. Who put the bump in the bump, a bump, a bump? Who put the ram in the ram, a ram, a ding dong? What? Who put the bump in the bump, a bump, a bump? Who put the ram in the ram, a ram, a ding dong? <laughs> That's amazing. The same, Mr. Clark. Yeah. Who put the rum? <laughs> Dude, that guy is <laughs> fucked out of his mind. <laughs> okay, okay. He's red in the face, and his eyes are just fucking wired open. Keeping a straight face. <laughs> Did they have mask on? Yeah. I bet they're smiling. <laughs> right there, I bet he started smiling. <laughs> I want to start shaking my head like this motherfucker. Yeah, this like sticking out a lot. Oh, dude, watch. Probably because it 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 was getting. (laughs) 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 That's what that was weird.
your clothes because oh. he had this like sticking out of the awful and this was like flat. <laughs> Probably because he it, it was he had to <laughs> <laughs> That's a glitch in the Matrix. Whatever he found. I bet Abby has so many videos on her laptop of me just like that. <laughs> me in the middle of a conversation and I notice her video and, and I just stop and say, you motherfucker. <laughs> Twins, my ass. Let's see. Probably gonna be like fucking a transporter or some shit. What the fuck? Is it because of my thumb? Well, what? Is it really because of my hand? Oh, ah, that's what I was you, thinking. Bro. That's his good hand. No fucking. I was <laughs> figuring. Ass, is his hands really fucked up? Gonna be like fucking yeah, he's missing. Yeah. He's missing. He's got stubs. What the fuck? Is it because of my thumb? All. Really? Because of my hand? Oh, fuck you. Every bro. time I see him, I All picture right, the mashed potato yeah, scene. Yeah, the mashed potato scene. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be like fucking and he gets it on his finger. <laughs> it's so fucking it. disgusting. Dude. Oh, I showed my mom that clip the <laughs> other day <laughs> of him basting. Oh, oh we just we basted right, turkey. Dude, and the and it's it's so like the gain is turned up so oh, much yeah. where it just you can hear everything. That's more of a gaining mic. That's more. Oh, that sounds fucking gross. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do here BH later. <laughs> Post your video again. Hey, bud. Will you be a kind and come to pop with me? With your broken leg. I mean, my leg's broken. My palm's in a bunch. I'm worried about it then. Try to call him a pussy. He's a bitch, guys. <laughs> Damn, man. Are you kidding me? I got kicked out of cat after this. Okay, okay, pause this. I got, I got, I got. Did she say I hope you get a cast after this? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. I mean, you to turn that up so I can hear what this bitch is saying. Because one, she's clowning him, so it's funny. Play, play, play it over again. Okay, so pause it, pause it right before. So this girl is. Asking this, I, is it out to a dance prom. or is it out? Okay, so it's prom. prom. I think I heard her say prom. Okay. So, okay. And that's it. And she gets mad at him for saying no. Yeah. <laughs> Although, he, I think he was thinking about it. Playing devil's advocate over here. Hey, bud. Can you be a kind and come to pop with me? With your broken leg. I, mean, I my think that's where she was. My palm's in a bunch. I'm worried about it then. Uh, I don't know. Get a pussy. Oh, what? I think he just wasn't interested at all. Yes, he was. That too. Hey. I'm gonna fucking slut cock you. You better say yes to this boy. Oh, uh, maybe. He's a bitch, guys. <laughs> See, she's she's backed. She's backed in, sweaty. She's backed in a corner now, so she's just gonna keep insulting. Okay, so I mean, you risk. I don't really think she was in that slutty of a costume. No, but she dressed up to ask this dude to prom, and he said no, and she got pissed off, so she started insulting him. She did dress up as a fantasy that yeah. most people would have. I probably would have said yes just because I'm a freak, but well. She's not, I mean, she's not fucking ugly, you know. Oh. So, I mean, it was just. Well, maybe she's, I don't know. She kind of looked like. A, a slut. No, a girl that I went <laughs> to high school with. That if she would have asked me, I would have said no too. Even if she was a freak. Right. But Bottom I, line. I if she, if she would have been a freak, I probably would have said yes. Yeah, I would have said, yeah, said, yes. said yes. Actually, I'm fucking complicated, so I probably would have said no. I'll pro I probably would have been like that guy. But you risk. I would have been that guy. <laughs> you, you risk, like. It's not a hundred percent guarantee that you're gonna get a yes. So yeah, you have to be prepared. Like right. She got treated like a and dude. And she got mad that she got treated like a dude. Yeah. Guys get turned down all the time. Dude, all Nobody the time. Wants a piece of ass, just sometimes. <laughs> and I know all not, you want sometimes is a piece of dick. Right. Right. A pe 
People want what they want, bro. Yeah, everybody wants to get laid every now. Yeah, you you ain't gotta call him a bitch in front of all of his friends because now, he said no. Now maybe she had like higher hopes that maybe if she did this, he'd say yes, and that they'd get together, right, and live happily ever after, right. Which very well could be the case, but that's not reality. Yeah, you're also <laughs> living in a fucking fantasy world. <laughs> yeah. So I know a few fucking people in my personal life who currently live in a fantasy world. Yes. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you got to go through shit like this to really wake up. So hopefully, she's not gonna she's hopefully not gonna go definitely. balls deep for. A, uh, I mean, uh, I should probably go balls deep for a dude. Yeah, yeah. She's probably still gonna keep I doing mean, it. Hey. The right guy's gonna want to bust a nut in you. Yeah, it, just keep going, and then it'll work one day. Yeah, one day. One day it's going to work. Take us, dude. Take a few years off. There's like zero out of tens that have wives, or yeah. hu- zero out of tens that have husbands, or whatever, vice versa. So, every, dude, you can be the ugliest motherfucker. There's another person for you out there. There's you just always the some person, huh? You just gotta spend the time to find them. Right, one. right, right. But don't become a dick. Yeah, dude, don't. Don't call it's okay him. to be a douche. Yeah. It's okay to be a douche every now and then, especially when it's cold. Oh, I thought that was shit on the ground. Right there, that Are you leaf. talking shit about Liv? I'm talking shit about Liv. Dude, it's because she eats, like, some of the hair that falls out of my head on the bathroom floor, she just, like, gets in her mouth and just, like, digests it. So whenever she goes and poos, sometimes it doesn't digest all the way because it's hair, and it's just like a string of poo, like, dangling on her ass. There's been two times where she's run into the fucking Shit, house. Nuggets. With shit nuggets on her ass. <laughs> I don't like shit nuggets, bro. Hey, I'll never <laughs> Shit nuggets are gross. You think that's bad? I'll never forget the time when I was on site at a client's place. And yeah. the boss lady had her bulldog there. And this bulldog had asshole problems. Uh, anal leakage? No, like... Uh, like, whenever he took a shit, it was always diarrhea. And he couldn't get it off his ass by himself. That's disgusting. Meaning she had to help. Damn, man, how so, old? But he was older. Yeah. He died. But, yeah. Uh, but I'll never forget the time where I saw an employee wipe the dog's ass. I'm not doing that. You can't like, pay me I enough. The only way I'm doing that is if you're, if you're paying me half a million dollars a year. Dude, I wouldn't even do it for a time and a half. Well, one, I don't think I would do that for my own dog. Well, I would do that for yeah, my own you, dog. Yeah, you would. I would do that for my own dog. Not... For your dog, though. No. Your dog no, it's completely different. It, it's it, it's just like, like... Someone else wiping someone else's kid's ass. <laughs> right. Like, you're okay with wiping your own ass, even though it's disgusting. Yeah. But to wipe somebody else's ass, that's... F- yeah, I don't want to... That's out of the question. <laughs> yeah. That's just like your own farts not yeah, smelling I've as got, bad as somebody else's farts. I've got friends who are in nursing school, mm-hmm. and for some of their clinicals, that's what they had to do. Well, wipe a dog's ass? No, wipe a person's ass. Yeah, I mean, like they they're going to gonna experience it, so they, ha- oh, they have to. She told me this one story where this person was just so lazy that they wanted the bedpan. And they shit that's all over themselves in the bedpan. <laughs> that's and she had that South Park episode. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. <laughs> right in the bedpan. <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> he, said, like, he said, like, the bucket or s- the poo oh, yeah. bucket or some shit. Bring the bucket. And then he w- he shat all in it. And then I remember, the, oh, oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. And then he was just letting loose. Didn't she say it's a hefty load? Something like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a hefty boy. That's a, that's a good <laughs> diet or some shit like that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so trippy here in ourselves. It is. It's really trippy. But let's go to the next one. Oh, this is badass. Oh, that is cool. Watch this shit. Straight up G shit. Like, dude, what the fuck? That's crazy. That's years of practice. Yeah. They got some people who go to the skate park and do this shit, and they're... Yeah. Fucking good. That's like roller derby people. And I love how they make it look like they're just walking. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's so fluid. Like, she... That's so fluid. It's not awkward at all. No. Like, it looks like she does it's that on the regular. Is. Yeah, she's coordinated in all her actions. Yeah. All right. I need a woman who can do... Who can keep her balance on four fucking wheels. <laughs> yeah. 
Do you want to go back and watch it? No. That's a that's a loud one. No, that's a right next to a cop. Wait, what did he do? He's oh, he's, he's okay. He's Fagan. Dude, come on, bro. You fucking idiot. And in New York City. Dude, they're gonna bust that window immediately. Yeah. Oh my god. They have the fucking other foot. Yeah, they're gonna fucking break the window. Yo, oh, dude, are you stupid? You're gonna. He's gonna get in trouble. A lot of fucking trouble. Like, they think he's dying. Good job on the cops. Like, great reaction. Good response. What? He's full red dog. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? How do, how does this end? I don't know, but I need to see it. Go go to the comments. I need to see it because if he gets his shit beat out of him, he deserves it. Yeah, I he definitely deserves it. You're using up all those resources for a fucking prank. He was too far in, he couldn't say it was bad. Fuck no! You can't say it's a prank when you that after they bust three windows. Yeah, but the more the more you wait, the more you're gonna get in trouble. When he heard the window break, he knew he couldn't say it was a prank. No more. <laughs> the man's regretting <laughs> every single second of this. <laughs> now that's a prank right there. <laughs> he kept the he kept character the entire time. <laughs> Such a good prank. After character. that window broke, he really passed out. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I would too. I would have fucking had a heart attack. Yeah. I w well, first off, I wouldn't fucking play with. The I would like not. That. No, wouldn't do that in the first place. I've been, I've been detained and slammed, not slammed, but forcefully put in on the hood of a vehicle before. I bet that felt nice. I don't really remember. <laughs> it was during. It's during that time. St. Patty's. Oh, uh, okay. St. Patty's. Yeah. I wound up blacked out in like six miles down the road that day. Okay, that that <laughs> from um. Okay, you, you might want to take that out. Just in case. No, 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 no. I mean, if you if you really want me to, I will. But uh, that 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 brings up a question that on Probably the do, so. on the okay on the Do You Party podcast, uh, I have a question that I usually ask because only people in Louisiana really get this problem or whatever. And it's uh, uh if I can if I can remember the question, it's what what's the uh. What's the worst situation you've ever been in, like, having to go pee somewhere in public? Like, during Mardi Gras or some shit? Oh, that was, that was the worst one, because I don't remember. Oh, really? Because most people that I ask this to, uh, like, on the Do You Party, is people from, like, California or, like, the East Coast, West Coast, um, middle middle of the America. What, what is that called? Mid Midwest? Yeah, Midwest. Midwest. And uh, most of the time, they're like, we don't have any problems. But they crack down so much, because it's such a fucking wild like chaotic place in the uh french quarter or bourbon street yeah that they have to they have to do it and you'll get fucked if you get caught peeing you'll get thrown in the fucking cop car and like you'll get uh you'll get a fine oh yeah oh yeah but uh most people that when I, whenever i ask them that it's, it's a question that usually falls through most of the time it doesn't get any because yeah, i usually actually. have to tell the tell my story because yeah. they're like ah oh, that doesn't really happen we can pee whatever the fuck we want yeah did i mention that the detaining was a, a pee a pee story uh, no, no. Yeah, Is, was was it because you were peeing? It's because of where I peed. Oh, dude, it shit. Wasn't, it wasn't outside. And this was during, like, St. Patty's. Yeah, like, right after the parade. But <laughs> I don't remember walking in the place of business where I went. Mm -hmm. I don't remember using the bathroom. I don't, I slightly remember walking out saying, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember the cop grabbing me. Yep, that, that'll I, do it. Then I slightly remember Abby... I remember Abby telling me that the cop said, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll come right back. Yeah. And then I, I remember telling Abby after he's, I remember this. Like, after he said that, I remember <laughs> looking at her going, he's lying. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> you were on some shit. <laughs> you were feeling good. Yeah, I was. I there. Hand me that water bottle behind you. Yeah, there's the pink one. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a picture of me with someone you went to high school with. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember taking that picture. And that was like 30 minutes before the pee. <laughs> <laughs> and like you could look at me and tell that there's nothing going on behind them eyes. Oh, dude, that's just like that uh, TikTok. 
yeah. that we saw. Oh, there's nothing going on behind those gorgeous eyes or yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> there's not a uh, blanket statement or whatever. I a haven't blanket been to thought. A single Mardi Gras or uh, St. Patty's Day since. And I was like, see how you just cut out? Ago. Did you notice that? Mm. I didn't notice that. Mm. Okay, let's let's I continue. Been where I was talking, maybe. Yeah, I think that is. I think it's. But, I don't know. But yeah, that was like three or four years ago. Mm. I don't go to. Mardi Gras parades or St. Patty's Day parades anymore. I just yeah. I stay away from them. <laughs> I got myself. I do get really fucked up because it's it's Mardi Gras. You gotta get I, you gotta get fucked up. Yeah, Plus, you have but to. Whenever you go out there, like I don't know if you're like me, I just don't have uh, an off switch. Uh, I I do because my stomach stops me. If my stomach didn't stop me, I would be balls to the wall. I would be insane. Yeah, I really think so. Mine doesn't stop me until it's. <laughs> like like you'll be blackout but throwing up, but you won't remember it. But you'll still be active. You no, know, usually if I blackout, I don't throw up. Mm. Which is really that's weird. right. That I've only blacked out two times, and I I don't remember throwing up at all on both of those times. And I should have. I probably should have too. Oh no, the the, the Mardi Gras I did. I threw up a lot. <laughs> I threw up a lot. Like like on the sidewalk in front of like a, a Chase Bank. God, dude, I really gotta pee. You can't. <sighs> Let, let's let's watch some fucking talks. <laughs> I do want to see the end of this. No, dude, you're good, bro. Bro, is it? Oh. Best? No, man, it's, it's not. No. I, Turn left onto New York 34B North. Oh, it really hurt. It really fucking hurts, though, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good friends. <laughs> Those are really oh, good friends. Dude, oh. You're good, bro. Bro, is it bad? <laughs> no, man, it's bad. No. I... Turn left onto New York 34. Those are actually good friends. Yeah. No, no, you're good. Out. Oh, dude. That dude would have freaked out. Well, yeah, if both of them were like, oh, dude. whoa, dude. Yeah. Whoa, you're bad. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you would have freaked out. No, yeah. Those are the kind of friends I would want in that kind of situation. I'm definitely like that. I, I'm really calm in, like, traumatic situations. It just depends for me. I'm always I, I some a mode just kicks on for me. And I'm like we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta get some shit done. If a fight breaks out in front of me, there's a, a switch that clicks on that just tells me get the fuck out. Yeah. Like don't have no fucking part in it. Get right. the fuck out. I like the way my face is arranged at the moment. Right, right. I'm too pretty for jail also. Yeah. No, I'm not that beautiful, but I'm too pretty for jail. Yeah, dude, I just imagine getting punched in the face while having this swollen fucking gum and I'm like, nah, I'm out. Or, ah, dude, no. fuck. Fuck that. Oh, my God. And then I just got my eyes fixed. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no, A black you. eye and your mouth punched in? Yeah, no thank you. Yeah, dude. No thank you. Hello, everybody. The Broke Knock Life podcast does not endorse fights. We only endorse the UFC. I if endorse this guy. Cunt. I got today, ooh, the new Joker drinks. <laughs> and I'm going to... Try them right now and talk about them too. <laughs> you could see I got two of them the pink one and the blue one. But I owe 807 that likes, one, ladies so and I gentlemen. Try the blue one. This you is don't the know gem. what I'm talking about? Go watch it on YouTube right now. Okay. Alright. <laughs> and now this one. Oh. I love how I can hear that. <laughs> did he even drink that, or did he fake that? No, he drank it. You can you can see his little. Everybody. Look, at I got today. Ooh, the new. Okay, Joker okay, please. <laughs> okay, yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> oh, dude, watch no. this. Watch this, dude. <laughs> it's not weed, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's dabs. It's just better than this. Why would you waste it? <laughs> that's so much. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's the one that you, I want. They do make dabs that this. you can smoke and eat, and it'll, and it'll get you baked. That looks no, like uh. Either way, you ingest it. Like Dude, that's the, a big ass chunk. Like the fruit roll up sheets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks like that, but like, like crunched up. Yeah. Just better this. So maybe it is like a fucking dab edible or some shit like that. 
I don't know. Dude, dude that I knew a guy who that that had that some just shit. made me hungry. Yeah, I could eat. I knew a guy who yeah, had some shit. Give me a dab nugget. And it was white, like almost clear. Yeah. And he took a hit. So he was baked for like hours. Yeah. Like one hit. And his girlfriend put some under her tongue. She was baked for like four hours. Of some of that like, white stuff? Yeah. She was in like she, Damn. He said she was in bed like all day. <laughs> like Dude, not, that's not feeling bad, just Yeah, like, yeah, because that's like edibles, man. Yeah. It like sticks to your uh it sticks to your fat cells. Yeah. And so when you sweat. Dude. It doesn't it reactivate whenever you sweat? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Sometimes yeah. Shit. Enjoy this combat video. <laughs> Whoa! Jumps into a different fucking dimension. Oh shit, he stabbed him. <laughs> They're cousins. See the fucking snot, <laughs> dude. Dude, just okay. Pause it. Pause it. Okay, go go to the next one and pause it, dude. Just the amount of just. <sighs> just the amount of grunting and shit is just so fucking funny to me. Did you not see the rocket fucking fly out of his nose? <laughs> his snot rockets protruding from his nostrils. <laughs> He had a big old glob. That could that could have gotten you. That's stung. disgusting. Whoa. One hundred percent. Whoa. See, I've, I've I've edited that too much. I probably look the exact same. I'm wearing the same <laughs> hat and a black shirt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Get the uh, fuck out my backyard. Why? Get the fuck why out my that... backyard. That's weird. Oh. Hold up. Yeah, no. It's not it's not the video. Yeah, just fucking end it. I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, I, I think you have to slide it to the, the left. Get the fuck out my backyard. I think it, I thought that was a video. No. Cuz it wasn't going off there. I know, that's weird. Who the fuck is this? That that number looks familiar though. Get the fuck out my That's backyard. how they get you, dude. Get out my backyard. Okay, so what the fuck's happening in this? Skim. She looked like she she looked like a druggie. Yeah. Get the fuck out my <laughs> backyard. Oh, get out my backyard. She was. I just noticed what she was doing. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Look at her leg. Was she shooting up? Yeah, on her leg. <clears throat> Look right as he pans up at her. Right there. Ah, oh, the dude, come on, backyard. bro. Get on my backyard. Ah, uh, you know, that's why her sock is pulled back. She's not doing it in her leg. She's doing it in her fucking ankle. Ah, stop. I there's, don't like that. There's only two reasons why you go to the ankle. Or you go in between the toes. Yeah, there's only two reasons why you go to crazy spots like that. One, you ran out of spots. You know, one, because you don't want people to see your arms. Yeah. Or two... All your veins have collapsed in your arms. Right. And you don't have anywhere else to go. I think on Breaking... What's dude doing his fucking neck? Yeah, I've, I think on Breaking Bad, some dude that Jesse uh, talks to, like, mentions that. He's like, I ran out of spots, so I do it, like, on my feet now, or, yeah. like, on my neck or whatever. Ah, dude, okay, Could okay. you imagine doing I can't, that in between I can't. your toes or in between your fingers? I can't. What kind of pain that would be? Ah, uh, but the... Uh, okay, 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 let's go, let's go. Go to another, another I think I'd rather video. go through the withdrawals and fucking go through that pain just to get baked. No, I bet the withdrawal, dude. The withdrawals kill people. Fuck it, take me out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> rather than fucking do that, especially yeah. between the toes, bro. Yeah, fuck it, take me out. Yeah. Okay. God. <laughs> How long do you think those pants would be if they were actually on his waist?
Dude, think... people, people need to realize that people can see this whenever you post it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not just for your group of friends. I honestly, people can... think, I honestly think the Marines, Army, whatever branch of military you go in, if you salute any of them like this. I'm a soldier. Like that. If you salute any of them like this. Your arms My grandpa would like punch you in the face. Exactly, they yeah. beat the shit out of you. It's yeah, fucking he's, out. He's doing like that. <laughs> I'm a soldier. You're fucking something, bud. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> you relax your whole face. It shows how much pain you're in. Watch, watch this. Two million likes. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I think I, I think, dude, because sometimes me and Gramps send each other because we don't look at what each other sends. Uh, pause that real quick. We don't get, we don't see because I don't, I, I make it uh, an effort not to look at it. So whenever we send each other the same thing, we crack the fuck up. And I think this is one of the videos we <laughs> sent the same thing. Yeah, because like he'll send it, and then like a day later, <laughs> I'll send the same exact video, and he'll be like, no fucking shit. <laughs> see, that's why that's why I have Gramps. Yeah, because we're we, all on the same. Yeah, table. we're on the same. We're on the same track. He's he's just a time zone ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay, Wait, let's go. I don't think this is an actual song. <laughs> I sent this to him. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely. Oh my God, dude. Dudes. You ever wonder what happened to pterodactyls? <laughs> right there. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the band kid. That guy is too... No, no, just no words. Why would you... He looks like he looks like a band kid mixed with like an e-boy. Because of the yeah, hair and like the necklace. Bird. Okay, please, please get him off. Okay, that's a fucking. I need murder. a, I need a piss, and then we're gonna get on to the next segment. This is really long and really cringy. If you want to stay through it. Oh wait, no, this is this it's is like a song. Fucking Tyler trying to bend down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to go pee. Exit out of this Gramps basement. And we're at fifty-four minutes right now, and yeah, we don't have a worry. We don't have a worry in the world. There's a time run here. Start them at the same time? No, we didn't. Oh. But I'll match it up. It's no big yeah, deal. Because this is at 54 30. 30. It, no big deal. All right, I'm going to be right back. <clears throat> and then we're going to, uh, uh, we're going to get your meat live on camera. We're going to, yes. We're, this might be like an hour and 30, probably. But, uh, we're going to talk about. Yeah, because if we're reaching 54 right there, this has 16, so. 16 left? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna talk about briefly about the stock shit. Oh, we can keep on going. Oh, I know. It, this is that's why, bro. It's amazing. We're gonna talk stock mayhem. We're gonna talk this. Well, we've already talked the new mixer, uh, uh, sound effect recommendations, and then we're gonna go into the broke dream journal. And then we have a submission from chaotic neutral. Uh, she submitted a uh, a dream. I, I only read like the first sentence. So I haven't read the whole thing, but we're going to try to decipher it, and then I'm going to read one of my dreams, and then we're going to try to decipher that. Oh, she but I'm about to... There's a, there's about to be urine seeping through my fucking shorts right now. And STM, I... I, I personally got in trouble for throwing rocks at vehicles. Dude, I'm... I got a belt to my ass. At STM? No. Wait, I, you didn't go to STM. Sacred Heart. Dude, that, wait, was, that a, was that a middle school thing? I, it must have been, dude. Because me, we were throwing rocks at buses, cars. Like on the on the playground, we would yeah. j we would all gather up, and then a car would pass, and then we would like act like we were walking, and then we would go like chunk it, and yep. then just like go the other way, and we would hear the rocks hit the car. <laughs> and one time, the car like, yeah. And then, dude, it was me, Hunter, and uh, 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 uh Justin, and Mickey, and all all all, all of my. I think Kingsley was there too. The whole gang. 
The whole gang just being fucking degenerate. Just, and then we heard the car stop. I mean, what, what are they going to do to a fucking right. little, little kid? We all fucking booked it. And I'm pretty sure, I don't think anybody got in trouble. Oh, they caught us. <laughs> they, they Dude, those, they, that's, those are rocks. I would be pissed yeah. if some kids... Some th- kid threw a rock in my truck? Are you kidding? I'd probably go to jail for beating the kid's ass. Dude, dude. Like, if his parents don't discipline him, I sure fuck will. Dude, who said that? Adam Sandler. Truck, fuck you up. <laughs> yeah, dude, Adam Sandler had a great quote. I don't know if it's verbatim. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this quote is verbatim, but Adam Sandler uh, said, hitting kids is just funny. <laughs> <laughs> It's just fucking funny. Like it was, I think it was a dodgeball scene in one of his movies where he actually like they didn't. There, there was no like cuts or whatever. He actually threw the dodgeball as hard as he ki- could at the kids. <laughs> and then I think they interviewed him after, and they're like, "So why, so why did y'all go with the actual approach?" And he's like, "Well, just hitting kids is just fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> just made for a better fucking uh, a better it, movie, a better episode." You probably pissed him off. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, what a what a what a what a episode! Um, yeah. We're not we're not done yet. We still have the broke dream journal to go to. Yeah, please block some of that. Bleep out. Oh. Take out some of that political shit. Oh well, I I, I wanted I to care if anyone knows what my opinions are. I just don't feel like any backlash coming to the channel. Yeah, I mean that that's why I don't do the correct political thing. And that's, that's why, why I've dude, stayed out of it. Yeah, I mean I, I, I that's why I let you go. I mean it, I'm not gonna f- tell you shut the fuck up. You know? No, feel free to. If this was live, it would be different. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, ah. You know what I would do? Try to talk. <laughs> All I can hear is myself. The power. <laughs> the power I control. Also, if anyone's going off on some tangents, volume up real loud. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Time out, motherfucker. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man. But yeah, this 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 will actually get me ready for like live podcast performances oh, yeah. because I'll I'll this this is doing it live essentially. Cuz if we had like a uh, live preamps and shit, this would all be And then you'll have it down packed. Yeah, I would just have to figure out how to hook then, the speakers up to this. I think you could just read the conversation and see where it's going in. No, motherfucker. I need that bleep button though. Because we're gonna get to the point where we can't, where those five, those first first five minutes oh, are gonna matter, yeah. yeah. And then we're gonna have to bleep that shit. I know, and I noticed, I noticed on the last stream I helped you with, I was cussing a, a ton. <laughs> My bad about that. Well, on the stream, yeah. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't even, I don't even care about. No, I don't care about the gaming videos. I more care about the first five minutes of the podcast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're good. If I really, if it really bothered me, it wouldn't be in there. Look, man. You know what I mean? I was, I was raised. In the country, across the river. Dude, you ain't got to tell me. I cursed. At, With Cajuns. Yeah. I cursed every other word. It's just how, it's it's how, how we talk. Brought up. It's how we talk. It's how my, dude, my mom, I'm, uh, during uh, during football games or anything, she's always just cursing. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> fuck. God fucking damn it. That's a fucking first down. <laughs> and I, I, that's where I, I get some of that. I, and watching Family Guy at a very early yeah. age. Yeah. Very early. Oh, yeah, I'll never forget the first time I ever heard the term douchebag. <laughs> it was from Family Guy, and I straight up asked my mom what, what it was. <laughs> mom, what's a douchebag? <laughs> um, Did she tell you? Yeah, she told me. Or she just told you a bad word? No, she told me. She said, well, one, it's a bad word. Yeah. And two, it's used to clean <laughs> a woman's private parts. There you go. That was the one thing my, I rem- remember my mom telling me. It's like, if you come to me and ask ask me anything, I'm going to tell you the truth. See, and that's how a parent should fucking raise their kid. Yeah. So Seriously. Every time I knew. If, if you I keep it a secret, was, like if you were scared to ask your mom or ask your dad. That's or why, at, that's why that, I'm so comfortable with just telling my mom the truth. Yeah. Like, that, I that's don't, even same. If, even if something illicit happens. Yeah. I don't care. I, she gets the full truth. If it's repressed... No matter how wrong she it is, she gets the full truth. Right. Because, I mean, I feel my mom's going to learn the truth anyway, you know? Yeah. But, uh... uh, It'd be different. See, the people that... Most... I'm also lazy and don't like to lie because I don't like to think... That's... Dude, I... I I remember the lie. Same. Because I will forget. I will, too. And I, I won't care that I won't forget. Unless if it's something real easy. 
Yeah. Well, and if, like something that I'm, I'm trying to get out of. Yeah. And that's real easy to lie about. Yeah. Which one? 100% of the time, usually we'll blame it on my mom. <laughs> gotta go to my mom's house, gotta do something with my mom, this yeah. and that. Dude, I, like I that. know what you're talking about. Most of the time, you know what mine is? I have some stuff rendering right now. I can't leave the computer. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's that's it. I have a bunch. That's a good one. I have a bunch of it. Because most of the time, okay, most like of the time. I like being personable when I like being personable. Right, right. I, Which is usually on Friday afternoons. Unfortunately, I it's very hard to judge when I want to go out and socialize. Same. So I feel bad for my friends that invite me to a whole bunch of stuff. Same. But I, I hope they watch this podcast too. Right. So they I, I know some. I know some that that. Uh, so this is this is to you, lads. I. It's I, just. I think only one one of my friends watches our podcast besides my cousin. It's just, it, it's nothing personal. I mean, I I think I can speak for you as well. It's nothing personal. Yeah, it's no. just I want to do it whenever I feel like doing it, yeah. and it's not like it's not like uh, uh, selfish. It sounds selfish putting it that way, but it's it's just if 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 I go out on a mood that I don't want to go out, I'm not gonna have a good dude. Time. I'm you're not gonna have a good time around me, right? Like, like I'm sorry, I'm time. sorry, but that's just it's it's how I operate. Yeah, I'll I'll like I'll I'll, I'll talk to you, but I won't. Be like in my like dancing, like jigging around Kingsley yeah, you're not gonna type be mood. Completely there, right? You're gonna be somewhere else. Usually, whenever that happens, I focus on like taking pictures. Yeah, I like go to one thing, and I I don't talk to like anybody. Yeah, I'll be on my phone a lot. Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes it is personal. Meaning, yeah. the the decisions that like what they decide to go do. Yeah, like I'm not always trying to go out to a bar. I, I I'm not always trying. That's like once in a blue a moon. Like I'm not. I'm even, sometimes I'm not even trying to go hang out at someone's house. Yeah. Because someone else is gonna show up that I don't want to fucking be around. Yeah. See that that that's when it gets shitty. Yeah. So like sometimes yeah I, I'm so I'm sorry for saying no. But <laughs> I'm, I'm not sorry for saying no. Dude and and I gotta take care of myself first and foremost before I can take care of anybody else. Right. And I don't know if you're if you're like me, but if that person if I were to go and that person shows up. I'm not going to hold back. Like, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight, but I'm not going to make an effort to talk to you. Right. So so it's going to be very person, obvious yeah. that I don't like. It's Correct. very obvious whenever I don't like someone. Correct. It's very obvious. I, I, I can't it, hide it. I think it is, too, for me sometimes because I'm the person to say hey to most people when I walk in a room. So if I don't say hey to you, then. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good thing that I don't say hey to a lot of people. It just, like, mask it because I don't say hey to a lot of people. Or if I don't. If say, they come, like. If I don't say bye. If I don't say bye to you, then yeah, I never. Usually, I say I, bye to like Kingsley and like Vivian and like main people. Yeah, but I'm not gonna go around like the party and go to like the, each person oh, that no. I talk to. No, like well, yo yo, yeah. thanks for talking. Yeah, or I do th- like main th- people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just like two people max. Sometimes I just dip, and I'm just like, yo, I had to go, I had to go shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is what it is. It, <laughs> there was shit dripping down my fucking leg. Yeah, like that fucking last TikTok. Oh my it, god, that's so fucking. You're just gonna leave it in there? That's. <laughs> so you're telling me you have shit running down your leg, and you're just gonna sit there until after the game? <laughs> he was or like your, reasoning with them. He's like, "Are you really texting you?" So you have shit running down your legs, and you're just gonna drive all the way home. <laughs> okay. We're all the way in LSU, Chris. Dude, you have a minimum twenty minute drive. Dude, if I, I I wouldn't be able to sit in my shit for twenty minutes. Dude, y'all didn't ask me this for the do you party pod, but my worst shit story. <laughs> I'll never forget. This was when, not long after my mom first moved to Baton Rouge, we were at the mall, and we were we were finished shopping mm-hmm. for what what everyone needed to get or what they wanted to get or whatever, and so we were just looking around. Why well, take a shit? Yeah, but this is back when I didn't like taking shits in public. <laughs> Dude, I went through school. I went through a phase like that. Or at home, I would always put if I really, really had to go in public. I had I uh, I put like yep. two layers of the toilet paper everywhere. Like, yep, yep, same. I still do that though. If I got to take a shit in very in very public places, yep. I used to do it to my own home toilet. That's how fucking paranoid I was. But I don't do it anymore. Yeah, I don't. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> yeah, it it got to the point where I didn't like the really cold shock. Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah, I heard yeah. That. if you sit on the toilet paper, it's like fucking warm. Yeah, not as much. Cool. 
I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were at the mall. I had to take a shit. Yeah. I had to drive all the way from the mall to Old Hammond. So that's like, uh, it's like what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. Shh. Like, I ran in the house. Dude. I ran in Was the it house. explosive? Dude, it was bad. Dude. Dude. Bad. Was it splat like all yep. over the toilet yep. splatter? Splattered. I had one of those yesterday yeah, morning. Like an hour. That shit kept. F- uh oh. We got a GoPro. We got GP now. Okay, so an hour. Wow, already? we've been going strong. This one charged. Yeah. Where did you get these things? Oh, fucking Amazon. Eight bucks for three? Yep. That's weird that they came in threes. Well, that, that's... I mean, that's what I was thinking. That's what I told everybody when I seen it. He's got three? Yeah. Okay. We're back in the sack. Oh, my God. That just sounds so funny. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> My my uh my skin flakes. You're snorting my skin flakes. You'll probably get baked. Look, you can hear the deviate it's up them. Uh you can probably get baked. you can probably get baked. You're probably baked right now. <laughs> my skin flakes are probably like slathered in uh C B D. So look, now you're fucking passed out. I was waiting Spell for the jewel to start. Red. What? L S T E R That We'll bring us into which I need to find a okay, okay. Before before we do the broke dream journal, uh, let me tell you how I fixed my deviated septum. I'm sorry. Watch. I moved my whole cheek. So were you born with that? No, I broke my nose like two or three times. Ooh, fuck. Maybe that should be a sound effect. You doing that? <laughs> <laughs> But spe- speaking of sound effects, do you okay? Besides the dream journal, because we're gonna do like a like a fucking <laughs> like a fucking dream, a dreamy type thing for the broke dream journal segment, which is new, and we actually have a new uh, uh, submission from Chaotic Neutral, which I did a podcast with her on her podcast two weeks ago, a week ago. It was just, it's literally like. Me, it's like two ADHD people just yeah. talking about crazy random subjects. That it the, the topics that we covered. Is that the title. I, it's <laughs> something like a lot of topics or some shit. But uh, she sent in this dream, which we're gonna read, and then I'm gonna read one of mine. I haven't read this, so uh, so uh, here we go. Let me. I've never actually met anyone who actually wrote down their dreams, so I'm very intrigued that y'all do this. Yeah, I, very, I I've never done it. It's very intrigued. It, it, and whenever and, and the crazy thing about it is whenever no matter how well sometimes it matters how far back I wrote it down but like if it was a year ago and I read the sentence or two that I wrote I can like picture that dream and it, like it oh, triggers really? like a recalling of that That's dream crazy. that I can like see for like a very short amount of time it's it's weird That's crazy yeah because as soon as I wake up I have no recollection yeah tea break that'll do it. I promise yeah, you. It'll come back in thing. huge waves. Yeah, You'll be like, dude, waves. what the fuck? But, uh, okay, so this this is how our dream was. I was in a farming field with these really big eggplants. They were the size of a tire from a Ford truck. The farm was the home of these farmers, and I was getting ready for a date with, a date with Hisoka. This, <laughs> this is important to the plot. Hisoka is a... Uh, uh, is an anime character from okay. this anime Hunter Hunter X Hunter. 
or Hunter Hunter. Uh, I was about to say, is that how did you know it was Yusoka? <laughs> Yusoka. Uh, and, and and a lot of girls fuck with him, so that's why she's on a date. That makes that, that's that's the that's connection why. right there. We're gonna we're gonna uh, analyze the dream, but that's why you're thinking oh, of Yusoka. I know what the fucking eggplants mean. <laughs> <laughs> And size of tires, <laughs> eggplant. Size that's of a, tires. That's a big eggplant. Yeah, I know. I know. I know what you're dreaming about, girl. Uh, okay, so give her the beans. Uh, out in the field was this little house, and I was the. Wait, wait. Out in the field was this little house, and I was the farmer's. If I can go in the house to have a date. Okay, I don't know what the fuck that means. The old man in the rocking chair nodded. Okay, out in the field was this little house. And I ask the farmers if I can go in the house to have a date with Isoka, maybe? Probably. Okay, so that's what you mean. You need to, I don't know how fucking drunk you were when you sent this to me. <laughs> but okay, so the old man in the rocking chair nodded. So he said yes to having a date with Isoka, who has a big Ford, a uh, big s- tire sized eggplant. Uh, the, yeah. the old man in the rocking chair nodded. The moment I went into the house, I got transported to this dark room. The day with Isoka was nice. I drank wine and chilled. Okay, so what happened so, yes. in the dark room? Yes. It's like it uh w- from Get Out, uh the sunken place. Yeah, the sunken place. You went you went to the sunken place and you came out and drank wine and chilled. The fuck so, happened in the sunken place. Okay, so what I'm gathering eggplant dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Tire well, I mean, come dicks. on. Eggplant, tire sized Isoka. Well, she did say from a, a Ford truck. So what kind of Ford truck? Are we talking F-150? She, she, don't, she don't fucking know. We talking F-3? How big are the rims? Are we talking 22 inches? <laughs> no. That's a, that's a big old dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking cock. <laughs> I wish I had that drop. I would have played that. A big cock. A big fucking cock. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, this is this is a very short one. Is this okay. yours? Yeah, th- th- this is this is one of mine. A three-headed rad stag from Fallout seventy six came up to my window in Gatlinburg, and teleported inside and almost killed me and my mom. I had to call nine one one because she was almost dead. That's all, <laughs> that's all I wrote. It's very specific. How the fuck did you know you were in Gatlinburg? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how the fuck you knew you were in Gatlinburg. It was probably because we go there. Well, w- we've been there like twice for like vacation. So I was probably I was thinking I was in the log cabin that we usually stay at. Oh, so there was a three headed rad so stag. Were you subconsciously thinking that the whole time a zombie apocalypse was gonna break out. Maybe I'm red stag. maybe I'm a prophet. I'm telling you, dude. You it's all it's all in here. You got the long hair. I got the. St- you got the Jesus piece. It's not really a Jesus piece. And okay. You got the Potter glasses. I You're dreamed. A fucking wizard. Chris. I dreamed about this insidious type character that was only affecting me, but everyone else could see him. What? But everyone else couldn't see him. It scared the shit out of me, and it only occurred upstairs in my Mimi and Papa's house. Don't go back there. So should I go upstairs? Have you ever had sex in there? Upstairs? No. Okay, because. That's the plot of It Follows. <laughs> I'm not in that plot. So, uh, a, a three-headed rad stag almost killed me. I had to call 911 in Gatlinburg. And then an insidious-type character is in the second floor of my papa's house. Chris, did something happen to you? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's probably... It's whenever I take tea breaks and I watch all these fucking movies and then all of a sudden it just fucking... That's why I don't watch that many horror films because it floods my fucking nightmares. I kind of wish. Insidious type character. I hate that guy. That yeah. that movie, bro? Yeah, that was a freaky character. Fuck that movie. The, the music? Did fuck that. Did you ever that. dream about the little girl in the grudge? No. That's like the only like night... One of the only nightmares that I remember. Shit. I had that big show up in my dreams. Fuck that. Like, full-on black hair over a face, all that shit. Like, Dude, walking up to me. I'm surprised I didn't dream about Slenderman, which I probably am going to dream about him now that I'm thinking about him. Because I, I remember getting so scared at that game whenever it first came out. Because 
I, I remember watching this documentary. Like, obviously, it's all fake. It's well, the whole it's thing a, about the Slender Man game is if you don't turn around, you win. Right. But I, I can't. Like, I, I have to turn around. It's all the creaks and noises. Well, it's... it's. I've never played the game, and it, I don't think I ever will. Well, you have to collect, I think it's eight pieces of paper, and each piece of paper that you collect from the forest, uh, every time you turn, you have a, a slight more, more of a chance to to get him in your field of vision. Right. And if he's in your field of vision, you fucking lose the game. Right. Because so he like gets if you try every time. Yeah. So if you make any sort of tar- sharp turn at like seven out of eight pages, he's gonna fucking get you. So like you have to you have to like know where all the locations are. You can't make any false look or he'll be right there in the field of vision. Fuck that. Yeah, dude, it's scary, bro. Fuck that. Dude, I have an old I'd rather play Phasmophobia. Yeah. I can't see the fucker and the fucker may molest me behind the <laughs> ear, but I'd rather that. That yell was classic. <laughs> we need. I need to have that as a sound bite. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> that was terrifying, dude. Dude, that I was legit a, hurt. Uh, dude, we were about to leave. It was in the back of my left ear. Dude, we were about to leave too, man. The fucking sound came from behind me. It was wild. Like I don't know if I ever told you, but whenever it happened and I yelled, I was okay. So p- picture me playing like this. <laughs> yeah. Like my mic is right here. Yeah. I yelled and did this. <laughs> like, legit. Dude. I was about to fucking run. Get up and run. <laughs> I had to tell myself, I'm playing a video game inside of my locked apartment. Yeah, yeah. On the second, on the, technically the third floor. Yeah. Oh, man. It freaked me out. Like, I was, I legit took my pants off after that. Because <laughs> I was sweating so much. And you had to beat your meat after. Yes. Yes. I did. Ferociously, so. four to five times. Dude, how many times have you... Okay, last question. Like how many seven. times have you gone back-to-back back in one day? Like, back-to-back. Back-to-back. Back. Like, right after. Like, you like you fucking like, ejaculate, and then right after you start beating your meat. Like, five-minute when uh, uh, period. Probably, like, two or three times. I've only done it twice. I don't think I can go three times. Even doing it twice is, like, a spectacle. Yeah. That's crazy. Doing it... This is crazy. Jaying off twice in a day is, like, a spectacle. Jaying off more than once a week is like a spectacle. Yeah. Because. Not the twice a day because I do it all the time. I don't like. I don't like doing it twice a day. because I don't either, I don't but I do it. nut as hard the first time. If you do. I don't like doing it more than once a week because it's different. It's it's, it's way different. It's, it's different from a girl making you bust a nut. So you don't bust a nut as hard. Mm-hmm. And so if I only do it once a week, I still get that hard nut bust. Yeah. It's all it's all how your body you gotta fucking time it out. Yeah. I think a good like a good I like, like it when three or four days. The tip of my dick. Yeah, dude. Whenever you fucking squirt that bitch. Yeah, and it go it goes from <laughs> it, it it shoots like a foot. Dude, my shit shoots, bro. It's my like a fucking, shit. It's like a rocket ship. <laughs> Boom. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna end on that. I'm gonna start playing the outro right now and we can just Oh, I can we can end it on a little cum story. <laughs> Let's end it on a cum story. I'll never forget the time I was jaying off in the shower, and I was sitting down just like this, sitting down, and I was jaying off like that. Yeah. Oh, it hit you in the face? Yup. Oh, no. Right on my cheek. <laughs> That's that, how far it shot up. Dude, You sh- that shit shot up like a fucking rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, thank you all for listening to the 34th episode. I don't even think we said 34th episode. I, think we, I don't know what I the fuck we, happened in the intro. I think we very briefly... Very briefly. Thank you very briefly mentioned it. But fuck it. So uh, thanks to y'all, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'm going to get better at the soundboard thing. We're going to get some more sound effects. And subscribe, Classic. like, comment, do all that shit. Tell me I've got crazy looking eyes. <laughs> and send us your dreams so we can uh, decipher it. If you made it all this way, please comment letter by letter penis in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if we see some penis in the comments, bro, yeah, shout out. that's some all OG, right. yeah. OG shit. All right, thank y'all for watching, and I know this is a long episode, but fuck you. Yeah, thanks right. for sticking around. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Like a toss, scrolling through the gram and hating all the thoughts. Famous something that you bought on the
Almost got into a brutal with a lead fought over something stupid. I don't think I'm Cupid, but I help more people than myself. I need to buy some tools. I don't know, something newish. Maybe date a girl that's newish. Maybe move to Newark. Yeah.